Hello and welcome. In this robot framework tutorial, we are going to learn the keywords that are provided in the Selenium library for robot framework, which will help us to work with the checkboxes in any web UI automation. So the keywords that are provided in the Selenium library for working with the checkboxes are select checkbox, unselect checkbox, and then the verification, uh, some of the verification keywords like checkbox uh, should be selected or should not be selected or page should contain checkbox or should not contain. So these are the out of the box um, keywords for working with the checkboxes that we are going to understand and learn today. So uh, these checkboxes, I mean, they or the, the keywords that are supported to work with the checkboxes are pretty similar to any other uh, operation that you will perform with any other web element on the page. So for example, select radio button, um, the, the keywords that we saw for the radio button operation, it will be similar for uh, the checkboxes. And what select checkbox keyword does is it selects the checkbox um, with the identifier so if you provide the identifier of the checkbox, then it will select that particular checkbox. So as uh, the keywords perform operation on any other web element, uh, performing operation on checkboxes is also similar. You just have to provide uh, the right keyword that is available for the checkboxes and the identifier. Then unselect checkbox will remove the selection of the checkbox uh, and then these are the verification keywords so checkbox should be selected so there will be many scenarios wherein you will be selecting the checkbox and then actually verifying whether the checkbox that you have selected already is selected or not so you'll use this verification keyword which is uh, checkbox should be selected or checkbox should not be selected right and then the other two keywords are page should contain checkbox or page should not contain check checkbox. So for example, you are verifying a website uh, on a particular page, you don't expect any checkbox to appear, then you can use the keyword uh, page should not contain checkbox and provide the details of the checkbox that should not be there on the on on the page. So let's understand these in the code. So here I am uh, let me close this file. So here, this is the file that I have created or the robot dot robot uh, uh, file that has all the keywords that we'll be using for the checkbox that we have discussed in the previous slide. So what I'm doing is I'm using the same website, Sugar CRM uh, website, which has some of the checkboxes as well. So let me copy and show you the the web page how it looks like and here you can see if you scroll down in the previous tutorial we have seen the radio button so here we have the couple of checkboxes as well that we can use our script so let me go back to PyCharm and here I'm just opening the browser with the open browser keyword in the Chrome browser and then maximize the browser window then I'm just waiting for four seconds so sleep uh, four seconds and what I'm doing here is it's just uh, a scroll element into views just to scroll the page into the view so that you can see the checkboxes uh, because by default once the website will be launched it will be uh, at this particular place so we have to scroll down a little bit uh, in order to see these checkboxes so that's what this scroll keyword is doing so it's scrolling the element into the view and then the next keyword that I'm using is to verify that the page contains the checkbox. Okay, so here you can see that I'm using the ID of the checkbox that I'm going to verify. So how I have found the ID, it's basically through the locators and there is a full tutorial on the locator strategy. So to find the ID or the locator of the uh, checkbox is simply right click on it. I'm, I'm in the Chrome browser at the moment. So right click in the Chrome browser, click on inspect and it will open the code for this particular web page. And you can see that this element has been highlighted here in uh, blue and the ID is interest underscore market underscore C0. So that's the ID that I'm using in my code to select this particular 
checkbox okay so what i'm verifying is that page contains this particular checkbox that's the first keyword for the checkbox then the second keyword is basically uh, the opposite of contain so what i'm verifying is that page should not contain the checkbox so i'm i'm expecting a checkbox that is, that should not be on the sign up page or the first page it should be on the second page so what i'll do is i'll just mention this keyword page should not contain that particular checkbox which i am not expecting on this particular page so what i've done is i have just made up an expo, uh, made, made up an um, locator which doesn't exist on this page so this step will pass because this particular id uh, for the element is not on the page uh, the second uh, or the third keyword is to select the checkbox so selecting a checkbox is just use the select checkbox uh, two spaces and then the locator of the checkbox that you want to select so if you are using the id you just use id or you're using xpath or name so you just replace it with either um, xpath or name the highlighted part and then colon and use the locator there then I'm verifying that after the selection of the checkbox whether the checkbox is selected or not so I'm just verifying checkbox should be selected and providing the locator of that particular um, uh, checkbox then I'm capturing the screenshot to show you that this particular checkbox has been selected and then uh, sleep for four seconds and then I'm or again using the keyword uh, checkbox should not be selected and I'm using another checkbox which is there on the page right that should not be selected so there are three checkboxes so next time uh, I'm selecting the marketing automation checkbox and then I'm verifying that sales automation checkbox is not selected in the next keyword right so I have given the detail of the or the locator for the sales checkbox then I'm unselecting the checkbox that I have selected with the unselect checkbox keyword. And then the other keyword is checkbox should not be selected. So I'm verifying that after the unselecting of the checkbox, I'm verifying that the checkbox is not selected. So the keyword and then two spaces and the locator, right? So that's what uh, you need to make sure in robot framework that when, when you are using the keyword, after keyword two spaces are mandatory and after that i am capturing the screenshot sleeping for four seconds waiting for four seconds and then closing the browser so that's a brief of what checkbox keywords i'm utilizing all of the checkbox operations will be performed in the same code here so let me run this and uh, see the results so i'll just change it to checkboxes and run the test so it will open in chrome browser and maximize the page so after maximizing it will scroll in the view it checked the marketing automation checkbox it unchecked it and then it will wait four seconds and close the browser okay so let's right click and view the report in the chrome browser so and analyze this report so here you can see that the scroll element into view passed because you can see the scroll happened and then it verified page should contain checkbox so it verified that this marketing checkbox was there and it the another checkbox that i mentioned is not on this particular page then it selected the checkbox and then the next checkbox, uh, next keyword was to verify that checkbox should be selected, right? And after that, I captured the screenshot. So you can see that here, that marketing automation checkbox has been selected, right? Sleep for four seconds. And then I have mentioned the keyword that checkbox should not be selected and I'm asking uh, or I am providing the locator for the sales automation checkbox that sales automation checkbox should not be selected then I'm unselecting this marketing automation checkbox and verifying that this marketing automation checkbox is not selected capturing screenshot again now you can see none of the checkboxes are selected right and then it wait four seconds and close the browser right 
So here you can see that these reports are very handy. You can have the screenshot embedded in the report, which give you a lot of detail of what is going on in the particular test and each of the step that you are writing in your script. So that's why if you are utilizing this capture page screenshot or the element screenshot in your script, it becomes really, really easy to debug the issues that you might face in your automation. So that is all about working with the checkbox and the some of the keywords that we you can utilize to work with the checkboxes in robot framework. So hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.